Hi, my name is Javon King and I play Angel in the international slash national tour of Rent. It is so surreal, even like to this very day, it's just kind of just like I'm playing like a Tony winning role in a Tony winning show. It's just kind of like, you know, I'm very grateful to be able to spread this message of love and like what represents, what Rent represents. And like, for me, it just like means the world that I got this opportunity. <sighs> the biggest surprise is when we went over to Japan and China, the response that the people have over there. It's just like, it's amazing to think that like a show like this has been running, um, that's been around for 20 plus years, has this effect on people on literally on the other side of the world. It's kind of just like, wow, like they absolutely adore the show and they know it probably better than we do, which is like kind of crazy to think about. But yeah, they are some true rent heads over on the other side of the world. In Japan, like I, there were one thing I remember, I got a car that was the angel Santa suit. Like the card itself, the envelope was dressed up as like the Santa suit. And I was just like, this is the best thing I've ever gotten in my entire life. And then she wrote like a really sweet letter on the inside and like they give you so many gifts. Um, in China, they gave us like uh, honey <laughs> for our throats and like cough drops and things like that. Like they were like, please take care of yourself. We want you to like, you know, have a good time here and like see you every day. And it's like, yeah, great. Yeah, they're so cute. <laughs> I don't think I'm surprised because I know I knew like when I like started rehearsals, like there are people that come to the show to see Angel and like that is like, you know, he kind of holds the show together. Drag has changed from when the show came out now and you know, when the show came out and then how it is now. Um, so there are people that came up to me like when we were in the United States that saw the show 20 years ago and were just like, you know, I absolutely adore, like I still adore the show and this character specifically because you represent like that culture back in the day and like what one lady told me she was like I, you represent what i lost during the aids epidemic and i was just like wow that actually like kind of hit me and i was like oh my goodness like i'm like this show and this role in general is just really touching people's lives and i was like wow i, I need to do good i found that me and him are very similar like he's a ball of fun and i tend to think that I'm a ball of fun. Um, he's very optimistic about a lot of things and like I try to live my life in the very same way just cause like, you know, some things are out of your control and you can't really try to control everything in your life. And like, it's better to just think positive about things and people and things like that, you know, cause it just, you know, present, prevents wrinkles and being a happy life is always something that I try to sh strive to, to achieve. I don't think we had any differences. I mean, I don't do drag in my everyday life. Um, so I guess that was a difference for me. Um, you know, slapping on heels and, and doing the show eight times a week was definitely a challenge for me. Um, Character-wise, I think we're pretty similar. Um, you know, I was able to take some things that me and him do the same or think the same and still add my own, like Javon into Angel, you know? So yeah, I don't think we really have any differences. Great. Yeah. <laughs> I first saw Rent as the movie and I was absolutely obsessed. Um, and then I, Angel is like a dream role of mine. And I was like, I don't think this is ever gonna come back. Like, you know, it was up in, I think what, 2008 or something like that. And I was like, I don't think this show is ever gonna come back. And then next thing you know, like I was going in to audition for this tour and I was like, oh my goodness, like this is like a big deal. And I was like, let me make sure I do well. And uh, yeah, but that was my first exposure to Rent was the movie. Um, I wish I was able to see it um, on Broadway, but then you know, there's the recording of it from the 2008 version. So I saw that, I watched that probably like 15 times. I went in just for this year, but I was called in by casting. I was going in for Kinky Boots. And then they were like, hey, you're doing great in the Kinky Boots, but can you also come to Rent? Um, and I was like, yeah, sure. And then Kinky Boots kind of like a, put on a hulk and then I was offered Rent. And I was like, yeah, absolutely, I'll take Rent. Um, so yeah, if I didn't go in for Kinky Boots, I never would be in this position that I am right now. The first show I saw was Phantom of the Opera. I think I was in the fifth grade. And I remember because my mom was asleep, she just not, she did not like that show. And I was just living um, because at the time in fifth grade, I saw it in my music class. They played the movie for us. And I, she was like, my teacher was like, oh my God, everyone should go see this show. Like it's on Broadway right now. So I begged my mom to take me and we saw Fans on the Opera and that was my very first show. And it still is my favorite show to this day, just cause it holds a special place in my heart cause it was the first show I saw. The reason why 20 plus years later, the show is still doing so well, is the story behind it is so genuine and so true. Um, it rains 
true from then to now, and especially now in times that we are going through. Um, so it's like the story is something that people need to hear. They need to hear a story of love. Um, it's something that needs to be pressed on a lot. And I think even new audiences are coming up and are like, oh my goodness, this is like 20 something years old. I never would have thought because, you know, rent broke barriers back in the day and it's still pushing um, the barriers to this very day. Um, and it's great to see like people who have seen the show back when it opened and coming to see it again. They're just like, yeah, like it's still is the same show I saw and it's absolutely amazing. So I think it's like a credit to like our cast. You know, we are such a close knit group and it's really great um, to see to be able to work with them and to see the story that we're all trying to tell together. Because it's really a genuine story that we're telling and it's really great that we get to share it with everyone. It's kind of crazy because I was not originally supposed to do musical theater. I grew up as an athlete and I didn't get into it until freshman year of high school. Um, and even then, I didn't think I was gonna major in it. And then I didn't decide until like junior year of high school, which is like the end of junior year, which is kind of late because you need to start auditioning for programs. So I kind of like scrambled together some schools that I like auditioned for and I had to get my like self tapes together and get my life. I didn't really have people to look up to, but once I got into it, um, I guess definitely Billy Porter, just everything he stands for as, as a performer and a person in general, I absolutely adore him. Um, who doesn't love Cynthia Revo? Like she just is a genuine sweetheart as well. And I would love, 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 love everything she does. And I'd love to meet her. Um, I love Jessica Vosk. Um, she's absolutely amazing. I, I just like, I just saw her in Wicked the other day and I was just like, are you a real human being? Like it's not real what's coming out of your mouth. Something that really stood out to me was back in Orlando when the, this lady came up to me and she was like, I think she said she was like in her 40s or something like that. And she was like, you know, you represent, as I said earlier, she was like, you represent who I lost, all the friends that I lost back during the AIDS epidemic. And that, like, she hugged me and she like, we both were like crying. And I was just like, this is absolutely the most touching thing that has ever happened to me. Cause I was like, you know, I'm just playing a part, you know, I'm just trying to do, you know, do the show justice and make sure that I am telling the story as best as I can. And to, for someone to come up to me and essentially say that I'm doing that correctly and that it touched her and it made her think about the people that she lost in like all the best ways possible, I guess, um, really meant a lot to me. And I was like, wow, great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And I'm really sorry, you know, about everything that, you know, who you've lost and everything, but you know, they're always remembered and things like that. So that really touched me a lot. Oh, absolutely. I can't wait to go to San Francisco. Can't wait to go to LA. Um, I think we're going to Hartford, Connecticut. Oh, and Chicago. Cause my birthday is gonna be around when we go to Chicago. So that's gonna be fun. I feel like she would be really, really close to Lola, obviously, cause they're probably twins. She would be, she would have a Kiki definitely would, I feel like she would love Alphaba for some reason. I feel like her and Alphaba would like drive together. Maybe I'm wrong, but I hope they would. To live your life as if it is the last day that you're going to live, you know? Just don't leave any regrets, um, you know? As the show says, there's no day but today, you know? Make sure that you're doing everything that you can in your power to live your best authentic life. Um, I think that's what Rent teaches us, along with the message of love. Um, those two go kind of hand in hand. So those are the things I took away from the show.